Uh, Jim Kelly with me again from Rona talking. Well, first, now I hate my roof, so let's hate my deck, all right? Because <laughs> now I want a new deck. Yeah. <laughs> and I need a new front deck, actually, on my house. Uh, it's falling apart, and it's overdue. Mm -hmm. There are some new options mm -hmm. out there. Quite a few. Okay, so now there's a big, the big difference between going with pressure-treated and cedar is price point, right? Absolutely. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, primarily, yeah. Well, it, If the, I spend more money on the cedar, what do I get for that money? Well, you get the, the look, the longevity, the low maintenance. It does last longer. Exactly. Okay. It, it's, it's a 15 to 20 year product, so you're not going to have any issues whatsoever with it. And, and like I said, it looks great. It does. It, and it smells nice it as well. So true, I, true, and true. it gives you that nice warm feeling. It's hard for people to bite the bullet sometimes, though. And we'll yeah. talk about maybe biting the bullet and going even further with longevity in just yep. a moment. But let's start here because this looks like raw wood to me, actually. It does. It has a slight tint to it. You can mm -hmm. When you compare it to a regular untreated piece of wood, you can tell the difference. So it is but treated. It is treated, yes. It's treated with uh, carbon. Uh, you can see this is the old style where it's a bit more green. Everybody knows the it, green. Exactly. It's wood, got yeah. a, a copper base. Well, this new pressure treated exclusive to Rona has, uh, has carbon instead, which is a much more environmentally Clearly. Uh, favorable uh, product to use. As well, it doesn't have to sit in season for a year before staining. So that's nice. Okay. Exactly. It's lighter in color. So if you were trying to get it to closer to a cedar, cedar you look. can, yep. as opposed to trying to kill the deep green base. Gotcha. And this is this is good for staining, though. Like if you want to give it a nice rich look. Absolutely. Rate it. Rate, lay it down, and then you can go ahead and stain it. I like that. Yeah. And uh, now we, I pick came out here, and the first thing as a guy, yeah. I looked at the, this tool, and I'm like, what is this thing? Should I even be touching it? And you're like, yeah, it's great. So let me just uh, see how that works. So. It attaches. Exactly. Well, we're trying to eliminate some of the, the screw holes from the top. Again, these are things that help to deteriorate the deck faster. Because this is now punched into the deck. And water sits, pools in there, and then causes it to decay. Standing water is your big enemy. Exactly. So okay. we're trying to eliminate that. So How do we do that? With the camel, what it does is it going along each joist, you're just it has a spacer already built in. How great is that? And then you're just simply dropping those out, the 45 degree, degree angle, boom, screw them boom. in. And, and then you have a hidden fastener. You're not going to see it at all. And it's punched in between the boards. Exactly. And going down on a 45, it, the water will shed away. You're not going to have worried about, uh, about awesome. it cooling. Can I use that on the pressure treated too, or is it? You can only? use it on any. any you can really? use this uh, even on the composite decking as well. Let, wow. Yeah. Wow. Let's let's get to composite decking. A friend of mine has put the composite decking on his deck over 10 years ago. Yep. Looks. Brand new, honestly. So you want to talk longevity, that piece of product right there has exactly. got to be up there. And now they've got, uh, it's even gone one step further. Along the top edge here, mm -hmm. you can just see it's kind of got like a thin coating. Yes, yeah, so I might even be able to see it better on that, Yeah, right? it's just a very thin coating. Mm -hmm. All that's doing is helping protect against staining, okay. scarring, and again, giving it that extra bit of, of life that uh, that you don't necessarily yeah. get out of the, the older stuff, because it could stain. But it also, it's got that really great wood look. No painting, no staining, yeah. no no messing around. And those are the fasteners that, that come with the Trek system. How do they go on? And, and like, they're really in between, right? They exactly. What you're gonna do is they fit in between, and then you're butting them up one against the next one. Oh, I see. So, so what you can actually see it on the deck, little deck we have down here, exactly. really perfectly. And then done. you're screwing them. In, it works as a spacer as well. And you can see here in between, but you can you can't see that. It's just like yeah. it's laying flat. It, it really totally, is excellent. It, they're all down, nice and solid. You've got your one starter, and then you've got your ones that that uh, give your proper spacing all the way along. What's the lifetime on this, approximately? I know they don't give you the real. Well, it's 15, 25 years. Really, 15 yeah. to 25 years, and yeah. then that depends on how uh, how hard you are in your deck, Exactly, right? okay. and with these new solid composites, you don't have the same problem with the older ones where they would fracture sometimes, sometimes in, the, yeah. in the extreme cold. Yeah. Um, because they're a solid core, they shed the water quite nicely and absorb heat better. Be ready for any product in the world to be affected by UV rays, though, right? Yeah. No matter what. So. You will have a certain degree of fading. It, there's nothing that you can really do about yeah, that. Yeah, and but. you'll just uh, just remember that. That's yeah, all. just move stuff around a little bit around the time, you're fine. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You put down some uh, outdoor carpeting yeah. in one spot and then move it every year and you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. uh, other tips, uh, are there any... Now, a deck I know you can do on your own. Yes. You do have to keep up to uh, what's going on with coating. Yes. Right? Uh, anything over... I don't want to go... Oh, anything over 24 inches. Railing. Have to, has ra have yes. to, has to have railings. 
Ask about footings and the things that you need as well. Rona mm -hmm. has all those answers. Everything, again, great installs department that can uh, be happy go, to too. go and install for you if you yeah. have any questions. But you, if you, you know, do have anything, come on in and see us. The older I get, the less I want to do stuff on my own. I don't know why that is. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah.